Welcome back to the House of Baseball. I'm Coach Shrek. I'm here to talk to you about hitting the curveball. Uh, most of the time when we're at the plate, as a youth athlete, we're seeing a lot of fastballs. And at some point throughout that youth experience, we're going to see the curveball. Uh, and guys, if they figure out that you can't hit it, that is all they're going to throw to you. So I'm here to debunk that and hopefully get you back on track on hitting that infamous curveball. So a couple things that we want to think about when we're hitting a curve. We actually want to be back in the box. We don't want to be way out front of the box. We want to be back. We want to let it travel. Okay. We want to be able to see the spin, the breakage of the ball, all in the midst of our swing and hit. Now, the biggest thing is that is we want to make sure the angle on our back is bent in. So we want to be bent in so we have a good solid, solid axis to be able to swing and hit that baseball. The other thing is we want to keep in tight. We want to be close. When we're coming in, we want to keep our hands tight to the baseball and then we want to crush onto it. So back in the box, good angle on our back and being closed into the pitch, that's where we're going to hit. We do not want to uh, launch ourselves up. So we don't want to pull ourselves up. We're pulling ourselves away from being able to hit that ball, uh, this curve ball down, down and outside. We also uh, do not want to uh, finish up, okay? So we don't want to lean back. We don't want to finish our swing high. We want to stay low and to the baseball. Those are the things that you want to concentrate on when hitting the curveball. Some drills that you can work on, soft toss from the backside. It's going to drop down in like a curveball. We're going to drive them straight out front. So he's going to soft toss in from the side behind you. It's going to come in. We're going to make good contact, good solid contact. The other one would be right out front. We're going to lob toss so it hits the plate. So it's going to come straight down. This is your 12-6. For the 12-6 curve, this is the 12-6 practice. So the 12-6 practice is a lob in, and we're going to be able to hit the ball moving this way, not this way. The other drill that I want to tell you about is the bucket drill, right? You got a bucket with a lid on it. You want to put it out here, have a coach, friend, family member, dad, uncle, aunt, whoever, Throw the baseball onto the bucket lid. Now, as it comes off of that, your job is to adjust your hands through your swing to be able to make good, solid contact with that baseball. It's going to give your hands eye coordination uh, together with anything that comes off that. You will struggle at that. At first, if you use that drill, you will struggle, so understand that. The other side of it is, is when that happens, we're going to get on it. We're looking at making good contact really not working too much on mechanics other than keeping our angles proper. Once we start making good contact, we can fine tune these adjustments here to make sure that we got good solid hits on the baseball. Now those are three typical drills that you need to work on to be able to master hitting the curveball. The other thing, keep your angles right, uh, keep yourself adjusted and keep your eyes on the baseball. If you watch the baseball to the bat, you will never miss. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you guys' time with me. And if there's any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below so that I might be able to answer any of those that you may have. Uh, hopefully in the near future, we're gonna have some new videos out and be able to uh, uh, bring those to you. So if you would, if you would like, subscribe uh, to the channel and hopefully we bring more videos out. You'll be able to see those and I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, good baseball to you all and always remember, respect the game.